So you want to apply it all over the skin. We're going to press down. Perfect! Whoa, Whoa I know. Science! science. <laughs> Give sunscreen away or not talk to your best friend's room. Bye, best friend! <laughs>
hyaluronic acid in there to help hydrate and lock moisture in throughout the day. And then not to mention, it's protecting your skin from the sun and losing that kind of anti-aging that you just invested in, let's say, in the clinic. All right, well, Kim, I wanted to surprise you with something. Like, oh, we no. tried the Illuminae <laughs> sunscreen, but I wanted something to compare it to, so I stopped by a shopper. Oh, great. <laughs> and I picked up a CeraVe a sunscreen that I saw, and I'm like, I'm curious to see how it would feel yeah. uh, in comparison to the Illuminae one. So just using the knowledge that you've already taught me, I'm gonna try to read this box and yeah. understand what, it, what it's telling me. Let's see, SPF 30, so that means I know it has some protection with UVB. Yep. Right? I'm doing good. Mom, <laughs> proud of me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Let's see what it says on the back of the box. There are the words that are very long that I can't pronounce. Oh, that you there you go. Me. Can you kind of pronounce them? <laughs> zinc oxide. Okay. Okay, perfect. So zinc oxide is the mineral. It perfect. It's the mineral part of it, right? That protects you. But there's also octinoxin. Okay, there you go. See, it's hard. You guys are going to be out there and be trying to read these ingredients. Oct you're like in the aisle being like, octa, octa, yeah. octocrylene. So is that, isn't that chemical? That's the chemical. Yeah, so this is a mixture of mineral-based ingredients and chemical and a lot of brands do that mixture but if you are someone who are looking for more safer or no, no risk kind of ingredients then you only want to see mineral based ingredients which would be zinc and titanium dioxide. Titanium. So at least now we know it's a mix of both chemical and physical so I want to open it. I'm yeah. Put it on my other hand. Yeah. Try some too. Sure. It's nice. There's no smell? No it's not. It's actually yeah. nice and you can rub it in but See, on me, it's a little bit easier to blend. Okay, it looks great on you. Darker skin tones, it's gonna take time, so I would so I would say build slow. There you go, kind of pat it in, but it, there you go. Yeah. So there you go, that actually just, just takes a little bit more time. Okay, I will start using my sunscreen regularly. <laughs> you don't have to call me out. Winter and summer. So what is a checklist to look for when you're looking for vitamin C? So first and foremost, you want a 15% L-ascorbic acid, USP grade. The other thing you want to see is that it's actually paired with vitamin E. Vitamin E actually makes L-ascorbic acid more effective. It's insane. Why not? So this is what I talk about. Yeah, they work so well together, but also it's, it's, it's that medical grade, right? What does medical grade mean? We don't just put 15% L-ascorbic acid in a product, we pair it with um, ingredients that complement each other and make it more effective, wow. right? You could go and get a vitamin C that's 15% L-ascorbic acid. Yeah, but is it going to be the corrective formulation? It's going to be paired with the right ingredients, the right delivery systems, all these things. Very cool, okay. It also has our peptide, and the peptide is also anti-aging. So you're getting two forms of anti-aging. Wow. Insane. Yeah. You also, we talk about this as pretty much the BLT of skincare. Literally, Sandwich. yeah, Wait. it's the <laughs> BLT of skincare <laughs> because it's gold for the skin. It's brighten, lightening, and tightening. I love that, mm -hmm. and now I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you had to just bring up BLTs in the middle of this. Um, yeah. I do want to open that box though. Yeah, let's, show us what it looks let's like. open it. So we have created a very innovative way of delivering l acid. The issue with l acid is that it's a very unstable molecule. So every time you see l acid, you should see it in a brown bottle. This helps prevent it from oxidizing to sunlight, air, all those things. You usually see it in a 90-day supply, right? But this is what Illumiae has created, which is very innovative. They took l acid and the issue of oxidization and pretty much minimize that completely by creating fresh on activation l acid. So fresh? Fresh on activation. So in here, you have the l acid crystals, which you would then press down on the lid, and then you'd shake for 60 seconds because you're getting that mixture like you're the chemist. You're pretty much oh. your own chemist. Oh my god. I love this, because like, you guys made some sort of like game over this. <laughs> like, you gotta pop it, you gotta twist it, you gotta yeah. pop it. You gotta shake it. <laughs> you gotta shake it. Um, it's the whole game. Can we actually open one? Yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's activate yours. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, the first thing you do is you're actually going to unravel the cellophane. Okay. What happens here is you're going to put it on a hard surface and with the palm of your hand, which we're gonna hold this because it's kind of like don't that. Flip the table. Please don't flip okay. the table. But you're gonna press down. Okay, I'm gonna do it. How far? <gasps> Perfect! Woo! Oh my god! That's, you wanna hear the pop! So it is actually, you guys are like the chemist, so yeah. remember you're activating it. We wanna make sure it doesn't um, yeah, so wait. <laughs> so we press down on the lid. 
good. Okay. And then what happens is you want to shake it for 60 seconds. So <gasps> aggressively. Ready? Aggressively. Yeah, because you're I not like, some this. people are, are dainty. No, 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 we want aggressive. <laughs> But that's well, great. I'm spent. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna just rest back. That's great. You did a great job. So now what you're gonna do is just gonna unscrew the lid. What I like to do is I activate it and then I let it sit overnight. Tomorrow morning I can start using it. It's super, um, it's mixed well, it's settled a little bit, and it's it's good to go. I also wanted to just touch base on some brightening serums. And I could not just choose one, so I have more. Yeah. You said three, but I brought three you more. Brought three more. <laughs> Hold on, I have only three for a pigment. It all goes together. Just let me talk about that. The math doesn't check out here. I asked you to bring your top three products. I can't. Oh, oh my god. She she doesn't understand. Pigmentation is a serious concern. So there's three here. What's the difference between the three? So the main thing is, it's all about how quick you want to see results. So the golden standard for somebody that's with pigmentation or you know something like melasma, we want to start them on lightening lotion. So lightening lotion is actually the a main ingredient in there is hydroquinone. What's that? I've never heard of that. Yep. So hydroquinone is the golden standard for pretty much suppressing activity in the melanocyte. Whoa, Whoa! I know. Science. science. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not ready. We don't have to get that nitty gritty. No. The main thing is what it does is look at it like this. If you go out in the sun, you tan quick, yeah? Yes. I go out in the sun, it takes me forever to tan. That is the difference right there between our melanocytes and the activity. Oh. Okay. So if I put a hydroquinone on you for four to six weeks, your melanocyte will be less active and you're going to be more like me. It slows mine down because I tan really quickly. Yeah, oh. exactly. So when you're getting pigmentation uh, treatments, let's say you're getting lasers done or you're in the sun and you want, you're, you're not supposed to be in the sun, but let's just say you're out there in the world and you're using sunscreen and you want to minimize the risk of getting more pigment, you should definitely be utilizing a pigmentation serum. Okay, so that's the lightning lotion. Yep, so now that we are going to do this for four months, and then you're gonna take six months off, we have two options for you. So let's just say you came into clinic and you're like, okay, I'm really happy with my results after the four months of lightning lotion. And you now are like, okay, I just want something long-term to just keep this and maintain it. Even Tone is absolutely incredible because Even Tone has the ability to still give you that suppression. It also has our designer peptide, so it's anti-aging. Right, so it's giving you that targeted fine lines and wrinkles, but it also has that protection aspect throughout the whole kind of time that you're on it. Okay. And then let's just say you went on high lightning lotion and then you said, you know what, there's just a little bit left over. I kind of want to really target those little bit concerns that are just kind of lingering. You could go on Intellibrite, which is mimicking hydroquinone in the skin, but you can use it long term. If okay. you are out there thinking that you can just go and buy whatever you want, please stop. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no way. There's I no that way. That and out. you probably would have bought something and then not know how to use it, and then you would have been like, this is not a good product. Yes. It's you're using it incorrectly. The way you're introducing it into the skin is incorrect, most likely. So always, always, always make sure you get a consultation, which is why Illumia is only sold through professionals. Right, because I know the Clinica, they offer consultations. They can hook you up with an Illumia rep. Yeah. And then you can have like an actual consultation. These, um, Estheticians, nurses, doctors, we, they all have been through so much schooling just to understand the skin on such a deeper level. So A, they are going to ask you more detailed oriented questions. Maybe if you have any allergies, that's a huge one, right? So if you just go and buy whatever you want and you, you're allergic to something and you have a reaction, like that's not a fun experience. So the first game we're gonna play is a this or that beauty edition. So oh I'm gosh. gonna give you two options and you have to choose one. I already hate it. I know. All right, so the very first question, I'm gonna start easy. Oh if God. you had to choose chemical sunscreen or mineral sunscreen, which oh. one would you go Well, with? that is an obvious. I'm gonna do mineral based because I'm, I'm looking for those more safer options and I don't want the risk. Second beauty question, if you had to give up mascara, Oh. Or give up lipstick for the rest of your life. You have to go with one or the other. You can't have both. Which one would you pick? I need both. No, I need both. No, I'm just joking. I would probably do mascara. I have to have. You have to have. Have to have. So lipstick. lipstick because it's okay. 
we're fine. <laughs> we're fine, we're gonna deal with it. This next one is a situation you have to choose which one would you rather happen, okay? Okay, happen. First option, your vitamin C oxidizing. It won't happen. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It for some reason, just randomly um, oxidizing. Or dropping a bottle of your favorite serum. This is the thing, the vitamin C has more overall benefits long term. So if I had to go one night without something, it's not a big deal. That serum is targeted. It's one concern. That vitamin C has so many different concerns that it's targeting, so I'm not ever gonna have that vitamin C uh, not in my hand. Yeah, so you would give up serums? As long Whatever as serum, C. yeah, as long as I have the vitamin C. <laughs> vitamin C is gold. This is the last one, and even I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry I have to make you choose, okay? He's so mean to me. Okay, not using sunscreen for a whole year. Impossible. <laughs> you can't, I already say no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So you're saying like that's like the worst possible thing. You can never do that to yourself. Like if you go and get any treatments and you spent thousands of dollars and you've actually had all of that investment and you don't wear this $48 sunscreen yeah. that is also a moisturizer and packed with sunscreens for a year, you're wasting all of that that you just did. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I said. It like, doesn't matter. Uh, give, a, give sunscreen away or not talk to your best friends for all. My best friend. <laughs> At dinner parties, or even when I see them now because I don't see them, so it's Zoom parties, I everyone knows I'm asking them, are you wearing sunscreen? So everyone knows this about me, everyone knows this about- the Weirdest phone call ever. If to, my friend was like, are you wearing sunscreen right now? Yeah, like, you would be scared, but you would wear it. <laughs> I would be, I just, wow. So that is like the prerequisite. If you want to be friends with Kim. Yeah, you, sunscreen. Kim, honestly, this time we spent together, you taught me so much. I feel guilty, I feel ashamed, <laughs> and I will wear my sunscreen from now on. I think that's what I do for most people, so I'm glad that I got that across. <laughs> from the bottom of my heart, thank you. You're welcome. And I'm sure our viewers will thank you too. You've guilted and shamed them to wear sunscreen. Wear your sunscreen, I'm watching. <laughs> All right, it's been so much fun hanging out. I hope you guys thank learned you. something. Uh, if you like this, of course, subscribe to our channel, and if you're curious about the AMD, you can look on our website. We have all the products there. You got, we'll put all the links in the description, right? That's how people do it now. Yeah, and if you have any questions, we'd love to answer them, so yeah. let us know.